De rodillas, por favor. Tú 
put your soul into its cover. Shall I not drink the cup that the Father gave me? No voy a beber el cáliz que me ha dado mi Padre. Jews? There is two and three of the Jews? 
conseguir essa ideia, o alien já está fazendo isso. I know you am I. Your own nation and the chief priests have handed you over to me. So what have you done? Entregado a mim. Que é o que a gente? Meu reino não é deste mundo. Se meu reino fosse deste mundo, meus ajudantes estariam lutando para que eu não fosse entregado aos judeus. Mas você diz, my kingdom is not here. Meu reino não é deste mundo. Then you are the king. Con que tu eres rey. Tú lo has dicho. You said I am king. For this, I was born, and for this came into the world to testify to the truth. Todo el que es de la verdad escucha mi voz. Everyone who belongs to the truth listens to my voice. Aquí 
So may you also bring us to me. El que dio da testimonio de esto, y su testimonio es cierto, y él sabe que dice la verdad, para que también ustedes crean. For this happens that the scripture happens might be true. Nada de todo lo que dice la verdad, no hay que dar a ti ningún resto. And another passage says, They will look upon him, they will look upon him. After this, Joseph of Arimathea, secretly a disciple of Jesus, appeared to Jews. Ask Pilate if he could remove the body of Jesus. And Pilate permitted it. So he came and took his body. Había un huerto en el sitio donde lo crucificaban, y en el huerto un sepulcro nuevo, donde nadie había sido enterrado todavía. In the place where he had been crucified, there was a garden, and in that garden a new tomb, in which no one had yet been heard of. So they laid Jesus there because of the Jewish preparation day, for the tomb was close by. The Gospel of the Lord. Lord Jesus Christ. A group of friends whom I know, they had the privilege of visiting the Holy Land. Israel, <coughs> and some other one of them said to me when they returned, they said, How profound with their journey to the church of the Holy Sepulchre, where Christ was crucified. And that was a profound experience to be Lord of the Holy And once you are at the church of the Holy Sepulchre, where the altar is, you kneel down, <coughs> and then in the mouth of God, God in there say, Oh, you kneel down and you place your hand into the mouth, and then you are able to touch Calvary. And the person was telling me, Father, it is a different feeling being able to touch Calvary. And how you heard that? I asked myself, being able to touch a Calvary, do I need to go to the Holy Land uh, to touch a Calvary? We know a few weeks ago, 150 passengers of the German Greeks fly because someone decided to commit suicide. Okay, you know, being crashed into the Alps. We have seen 150 families touch a Calvary. We have seen two days ago in Kenya, more than nearly 150 youth who have been in the university being shot. And we have seen those families touch a Calvary, touch blood, touch tears. That's the end of things. We have seen people touch Calvary over and over again in Syria, other parts of the world. We have seen people, a family touch Calvary last week when Officer Johnson responded to a call, domestic dispute and was shot. We saw how his family touch Calvary. Calvary. We have seen last year, or three days ago, I was called to the hospital. I shared it with some of you because it was heart wrenching. A five month old baby, I think, suddenly drinking something. Don't know why. 
Do I need to know the why? No. And if you have to be a single year or to be a five month old child. I'm at the ER looking at this baby who is looking like an angel. But actually, I can see the face. Heartbreaking. So, and then we see that family touch gallery. I have spoken with many of you in your picture. In this community, I have seen some families touch gallery. When at least three families, where the children are just eight to four, six or ten. Most they have seen those families. That's a family. I've seen a day when someone was the only caregiver of a daughter who had special need, diagnosed with cancer, pancreatic the cancer, and within one month the mother is gone. I have seen with my own eyes. That family touch Calvary. Yes, we touch Calvary. Yes, we see family members, friends, and people touch Calvary. And then, like Lord, we hear them say, Tell us, Tari. The Greek word is to tell us, Tari. A serious means. And what meaning is? It's over. Finished. Nothing more left. And we hear them say that over and over again. Sometimes we have said that over and over again. At the same time, dear friends, we also know love has the power to do extraordinary things. You have seen it. I have seen it. You remember a young man with his bare hands. I don't know how he had the courage and strength from where we don't know. He had it in the newspaper. He was able to lift a tractor all by himself that was spinning his friend into the ground. You free. Love has the power to do extraordinary things. You have heard the stories of, you know, Maximilian in Norway in a concentration camp when he was <coughs> replacing another prisoner who wanted to for the family. God has the power to do extraordinary things. You know, in the time, the oldest story, I like to say some oldest story. During Cromwell's time, the old story, a soldier was contented with the guard. At the evening bell, when the bell was tall, that was the time he ordered others to shoot and kill him. And the time came, the bell never rang. Because his fiancée was clinging to the bell tower where the mom or the bell was just beating her. And the bell never rang. They went to investigate and found her bleeding in blood and Cromwell saw the great love and said, Free this man, because I have seen the power of love. Love has the power to do great things. Not to mention times. You have seen the power of love when people in order to pour their food on the table, not from somewhere far out in the far out centuries, to now in our midst, two to three ships a day, two ships a day, we have seen the power of love when people walk miles through the desert to get in the air because they could find a new place, find a home, help their family. We have found the power, we have seen the power of God that can be extraordinary. 
we have seen the power of love to do extraordinary things. When a bunch of teenagers who would be having a fun during vacation, but they don't do that. They organize with the adults and go to the wine to the houses. We have seen the power of love to do extraordinary things. We have seen the power of love to do extraordinary things when people could enjoy their free time at home before a, before a television, which various men love to do. But we have never seen them in the world and the dream hours of their power. We have seen, yes, the love has great power to do extra. And that is what Calvary is all about. We love God doing extraordinary things. I mentioned it to you the word does by means it is finished, it's over. In the Greek, that word was a common word used very often for other things too. When someone would present an animal for sacrifice in the temple and they would ask the priest to have his everything, the priest would say, Tell us God, means it's perfect, it's very good. But if a child at a home would read the sacred scripture and would turn to the dad and ask, How is it? Dad would say, Tell us God, means well done. Well then indeed, I'm proud of you. Or on other occasions when it's perfect, the painter or artist would finish his drawing and then when he would show it to the other people, he would say, tell us why. This is perfect. It's perfect. It's great indeed. And at the marketplace, well, a deal is complete, the money is exchanged, they would say, tell us how. It's a deal. We touch Calvary. We have seen people who touch Calvary each day. It is painful indeed. We have also seen, but when we can when we approach those situations with a love, and as then we realize the love has the power to do extraordinary things, we can transform their cries. Not a telescope of it is over, it is finished, but a telescope of well done. It's accomplished, it's marvelous, it's beautiful indeed. <coughs> that is the challenge of Good Friday. Changing bad Fridays, bad moments of touching the Calvary, into beautiful moments by believing and acting in the power of love to do extraordinary things. Must be very this promise. Let it not be just a veneration of a good death, but of venerating and embracing all the power of love which will do extraordinary things. When you can praise, may God give you the power so you could touch the calories of others. So there will be the extraordinary things in love. And shouts of Christ's power is accomplished, is beautiful and he is perfect, is awesome. It cannot be better. <coughs> Almighty and ever living God, you know our hearts, for you made us your own. Send your spirit upon the church to watch over our families and teach us to follow the path that leads to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord.
This is the wood of the cross on which hung the Savior of the world.
Vamos a orar la oración que Jesús nos enseñó en voz nuestro propio idioma. Let us now pray together the prayer that Jesus taught us in our own native language. Sisters and brothers, behold the Lamb of God, Jesus Christ, the crucified one who shows us the extraordinary power of love. Blessed are you who are called in party for this supper. I invite you to honor the cross and start our journey of redemption. Please pray in silence until you exit the church, the church will be open for adoration for 30 minutes. <laughs> 